good day everyone welcome back to my channel today i would like to talk about my weight loss journey or how i lost the weight i am 5'2 so i am vertically challenged and the ideal weight for 5'2 female i think ranges from 48 kilos to 52 kilos my goal is to reach 50 kilos at my heaviest I got into 70 to 72 kilos. I'm giving estimates because I don't really weigh myself and the only time I would weigh myself is when I go and see my doctor. That's the only time I really find out my real weight. On average, I'd say I have lost 10 kilos within two years time. Photos of myself when I was at my heaviest but i know that at the time i never did any video or i didn't really have a lot of photographs i was so conscious i knew i was fat at that time the short answer for how i lost the weight is quite simple but it was so difficult i attribute it to three factors one managing stress second is fasting and third is managing my food intake the next part now is the breakdown on how i did that My previous job, when I started working there, I knew that it was a place that I really didn't want to be, but I sort of pushed myself to stay in the job and kept working there. And I was so unhappy in that place. That job was so stressful and then the environment and the people that I work with, I find that it was was really a toxic environment and stress led me to eating more and i also noticed at the time i was always sick or unwell and i would go and see my doctor and she was actually the one who said that i think you are so unhappy at work and it's affecting your health i sort of dismissed that and i, and I continued working for that company the thing is the moment i decided i am going to leave that job just the thought of me deciding i am going to leave this place at the time when I started applying for other jobs was I was still there that's also the time when I started to lose weight albeit very very slowly but I knew that that's when I realized the job was making me fat or staying in a situation where I'm so unhappy was making me so stressed and hence making me gain a lot of weight that's when I realized the importance of stress management once my mindset was relaxed in the idea that I'm not going to be staying there long term anyway, I started to look after myself better and eating better. And then once I left the company and then I moved to a new company, that's when I actually started to lose more weight. And then I introduced again fasting and intermittent fasting and then slowly I started losing weight it's like the intermittent fasting is important I want to keep going with that not just for weight loss but for health then I moved on to focusing on diet and some point in time I did a couple of months of ketogenic and then I went on to vegan ketogenic and then I started to lose more weight then last year end of last year i could see the improvement in my body so I... earlier this year i got into the dr sebi alkaline electric diet are there is a a list of specific foods that is allowed and so i just stick to that list sometimes i don't but i'm finding that the restrictive list actually helps me simplify and minimize my food prepping and so i like it that way to me that's the most sustainable diet that i have gone through and i've been in the diet for seven months now and i am continue to lose weight in, fact, in terms of what i eat i have already made a few videos on what i eat in a day groceries or what fresh produce i buy what's in my fridge and pantry and freezer so you'll get an idea of food or diet that i have I stick to that diet 90 to 95 percent of the time when i'm with other people i eat normal food so my gauge is if i can start wearing some of my clothes when i was still living in hong kong then i must be close to my ideal weight and a few days ago i have a few clothes that i've been aiming to fit in i tried it on and it fit and 
and that's when I realized that this lifestyle or eating diet is working for me I'm slowly losing more weight but I know that I've got a long way to go I still want to lose 10 kilos For, in my opinion, the best way to lose weight is to do it on a gradual basis. So there are just a few things that you tweak initially and, and then you keep doing that until it becomes a habit or a lifestyle. For instance, intermittent fasting has become a lifestyle. I intermittent fast almost daily. And once a week, I have one cheat day. And also, I've just incorporated a weekly 24 to 36 hour water fasting only so i do the water fasting more as a spiritual practice rather than health but be careful about processed food full of salt sugar and other nasty chemicals that your body don't need we all know that eating processed food is really not good for our body more whole and simple the food is the better processed food is so bad anything processed is bad on a cheat day i still eat some processed food because i still like potato chips or lollies and chocolate so i still eat some of the tips i I think one of the tips that worked for me is I didn't focus much on the weight but more on how well my clothes fit. I kept some of my clothes from when I used to be size 8. I still like size 12 now so which means that I've got a long way to go. Don't focus on the weighing scale. Focus more on the fit of your clothes, right? Yes. Drink more water. This is probably a suggestion from all the millions of videos on weight loss is to drink more water but it's so true because water really flush out a lot of toxins from our body and there's not really not much I can drink anyway from the alkaline diet the uh, allowed drinks there will be herbal teas and spring water I, I drink alcohol occasionally and I don't have sodas or soft drinks anymore and that. Oh, and then one other tip. You really have to be mindful of the company of people you hang out with. Because I noticed that when I gained weight, I was hanging out with a lot of people with the same weight or who are bigger. And so psychologically, even though I was gaining weight at the time, I thought like I wasn't gaining weight. The company that you surround yourself with have got a lot to do in your well-being. Definitely a hundred percent that has an effect. If you hang out with healthy, fit people, you will end up to be like them. But if you hang out with unhealthy, overweight, uh, sloppy people, definitely you will end up to be like them. And so watch the company you hang out with that's very critical oh, oh and then one thing more and th this one i'm pretty sure of Be with the dr sebi diet i feel like i'm not dieting i'm i'm eating more food but because i'm eating a lot of alkaline food I feel like that helps cleanse and detox my body more because i am taking a lot of the important minerals that the body needs i am not taking any vitamins because i don't believe in vitamins anymore I, I take all the alkaline food and that's it i make my own capsules and that's that's what i take so i do believe that a big chunk of my weight loss is is due to the alkaline doctor sebi diet that Another i tip is to really ease up and relax on the weight loss don't be too stressed about it remember like stress is not good i don't miss the old lifestyle there are, there are certain food that i miss but when i think of the consequences of taking those food and how that impacts my health i think and then i go maybe not because to undo all those things it will take a while and it will have it will definitely have a negative impact on my body so i just give myself around five to ten percent room to have acidic or normal food. like maybe you'd say i'm i'm very vain but i don't want to grow old and be old and sick I don't want to go through 50s and 60s and unhealthy. I don't have any major illness at all. I'm, I'm fairly healthy now, but I'm not very fit. And, and hence, this is where exercise comes in. Finally, I have set up my uh, gym. 
and studio on that side of my house I do love to go on walks but I know that I need to focus on strength training if I really want to tone my body because I have got to focus on, on the middle spread here I find that that's, uh, that's one thing it's so hard to get rid of the the belly fat is once we get to the spring summer season here in Australia I want to start making videos on fashion like make some lookbooks and I should really do more exercise to tone that so at least I can have some abs how that's my weight loss journey unfortunately there's no shortcut there's no quick fix it's a, it's a long game Alright, that's it. Thank you all for watching. See you again next time. Cheers. Bye-bye.